What's up, Ohana Exotics, and welcome back to another really, really exciting episode. Now, why is today's episode so exciting? Because there's actually going to happen quite a bit in this video. We're going to clean out the monocle cobra's enclosure. She had a shit in there and a little bit of a, a poopy caca. So we have to clean all of that out. Um, I'm going to check on all of these, but the best part of this video is it's breeding season. guys so what does that mean that it's breeding season well it means we're going to be introducing a bunch of breeding pairs that we've been preparing for this season the entire time of this whole freaking year and the animals that I'm the most excited about showing to you guys that we're going to be breeding this year is the Hime Habus, the Princess Okinawa or the Overbopi Sokoni Benses. We're going to be attempting to breed them for the first time ever. I have never even read up on how to breed these guys. Apparently it is quite, quite difficult, but together, you and us, you know, we can do it. And I'll share my ideas with you guys, share my plans, share the things I did and all of that. Yada, 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 let's jump right into this. Alright guys, so breeding season obviously means everything is coming out of winter and look at this beautiful freshly shed boy. Wow! Hello boy. Mm. Mm. A nice little sheddy spurgetty. We'll take out that shed, throw that away. Let's check out his enclosure for any poopa loopals. Alright, there's poop over there. Ha <laughs> ha! Which means the trusty poop scoop comes into flourishing with the very well-renowned poop bucket. All right, so let's scoop some poop, I guess. You can use your hands for this. I don't want to, that's pretty disgusting. So let's move him out of the way a bit. Thank you. And then scoop away that poop. It's a different way of doing some spot cleaning. But yeah, so that was the normal corn snake male. It's either between him or Ooh, another freshly shed animal. Mm -mm -mm. Hello. So it's either between that normal corn snake or this beautiful snow corn snake that we're going to be putting with an anary female. Now, I was going to wait until after winter to see which animal is in the best co condition for breeding. And you know what? To be very honest, both of them are in pristine condition. So we'll decide. If the one doesn't get the job done, the other one absolutely will. Then, Taiwanese. Hello, God just. That's a big ass poop. Bam. So the Taiwanese rat snakes, they're actually supposed to go into there and there, above the Western Diamondbacks. But uh, I haven't quite set that up yet, so for now, we're gonna be putting him in there, which might actually be better for breeding. But in any case, the female that we're gonna be pairing with, with one of those boys up there, is this beautiful little, Focus. And a recorn snake. So, uh, inky pinky ponky, daddy had a donkey. Donkey died, daddy cry, inky pinky ponky. All right, so <laughs> the snow male is the winner. Hi there, boy. I'm going to be introducing you to your girlfriend. Now, breeding corn snakes is pretty much the easiest thing you can do. That being said, there are still rooms for mistake. So, all you do is you cool them down. Take them to about 16 degrees Celsius, leave them there, gradually raise their temperature, feed them once or twice, and then shapow, you introduce them. So, we're just gonna observe here for a second how they react to each other. No funny business. She's a bit on the chunky side though, as you guys can see. She's in shade as well, so we'll see if they're gonna get down to the funky town soon or if they're gonna wait for her to actually shed. I think kind of it's gonna be waiting for her to shed. Hmm. But how beautiful a picture is that, eh? Hmm, hmm, I like that dark in. Are you swimming in your water? Why are you swimming in your water? Oh, dude, so you, yeah, you, buddy. You gotta get this job done for us, right? All right, here's your little massage. You get ready, get ready, boy. That female's all yours, feisty, feisty. All right, so let's do the Taiwanese. Uh. So much a pooper right there and over there. Why you poop so much? Eh? Why you poop so much? Now this is the female. She's also actually a decent size, a bit on the chunkiness. As you guys can see by that, 
scalation over here. She's a bit on the chunky side, but let's see if this male fancies her. First, the trusty poop scooper to the rescue. We gotta clean up all of this poop. Poop number one. Ew. And then, whew, poop number two. All right, so this is just a quick video, you know guys, like a quick video just showing you guys what I'm introducing this year. Um, if you guys want a detailed video, let's say like a per species detailed breakdown of how to breathe them in there. Whoa! Hi there. Don't do that. I don't want to get tagged. Focus on the camera. Good job. Good job. Now these guys actually have a pretty freaking bad bite. The mechanical crunch in their bite is... Definitely not something you want to experience. And I'm probably going to be experiencing that. I'm using the camera as a barrier. I'm just scaring him with the camera, but. Because, yeah, I mean, look at them giant poops. Giant snakes equal giant poops. Now, these aren't the true giants, but they're definitely bigger than most of your snakes. All right, so we're going to be putting him with her over here. So let's see how that goes. Is this me going to get tagged or. I'm absolutely not going to get tired because I'm going to use a hook stick. Bum, bum, bum. Bum, 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 bum. That's not going to work. All right, let me put you guys down for a second. All right. Okay, wait, this is, this is good. This is good. He's actually going to her all by himself. So let's hope that's a good sign of him uh, wanting to breed. We'll tickle him a bit. You know, give him a little bit of tickles, 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 tickles. And then let's see what these... Uh, these two do. Now in regards to the size of this tub, that is definitely too small. Uh, they absolutely can't be in this permanently, but like I said, hi girl. Oopsie. Okay, you mean focus there. Hi girl. This is simply just the first introduction, so we'll get these enclosures ready for them, put them in there. That should be better for breeding, but what beautiful snakes these are, huh? Look at this male. He's already jittering, flirting. Mmm. -hmm. See how he's shaky, shaky, shaky? That's him already busy, you know, getting ready, asserting some dominance. Look at how he's arching. Yeah, he is definitely ready to breed this female. So let's just hope he gets the job done and she actually is cool with him breeding with her. But yeah, let's put them back in here. Thank you, big mama. Thank you, big mama. Enjoy an update for you all. Very earlier in this season, we paired the ball pythons, and this female is looking absolutely massively chunky. So, I think that is a relatively good success. All right, and I remember I told you guys that I want to try to breed the Western Dumbbacks this year. I decided against it because he is not a consistent eater, and I'm still not quite happy with the female Western Diamondback. So, for now, eh, we won't be breeding them this year. We might be breeding the Cascables. That male sure as heck looks ready for a girl, so uh, that might be happening. I know I said we're going to be introducing the Hime Habus, but uh, I forgot. They haven't had their first meals yet. I was waiting for the weather to be consistent because I literally keep them on no heat. Too much heat for these guys is detrimental. They actually have to go down super, super, super low for winter. So what I think I'll do for you guys, if you guys are keen on Comment down below, but if you guys are keen, I'll do a complete how to breed Hima Harbour video specifically for you guys. But don't run away because we'll be seeing them in this video. They actually have to eat. So what I'm going to be offering them is a little bit more of a heavier meal than they would usually eat. Simply because I want something that's going to take long to digest, keep them full for longer so that there's less of a poor chance of them um, eating each other. Because I really do like these snakes. They're actually pretty much my favorite. First up, I think we're gonna be feeding the male. He looks pretty keen on the meal. What do you think, boy? Is winter over for you? Oh yes, winter is over for you. Winter is over. Look at how perfectly these guys blend in with their surroundings. Very simple setup for them. But obviously not permanent by any means in whatsoever. Uh, there's a lot of things still to come. You guys just have to stay tuned. And then the females under here, I want to see if I can coax her out. Oh yeah, I can. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Look at that. Mm. Look at that bang right 
they're into their pride. How freaking awesome are these animals? All right, so the monocle cobra cage is clean. Everything has new water, everything is clean. The pairs I wanted to introduce today are introduced except the Himahabus because I did forget. I haven't fed them after coming out of season yet, so I want them to have their first meal as I explained while I was feeding them. Anyways, so for those of you that have actually made it this far into the video, you guys are in for a bit of a treat because I have some rabbit pinkies that I'm going to try to feed to a few snakes today. What's the Diamondbacks do with these? Um, I'm fairly sure this female might actually go for it. Um, She's cantankerous enough to at least bite it, I think. Uh, let's just find out. All right, here we see. Let's see what she thinks of this. Is this something you would want to try? Also completely weirded out by what the heck this is. Oh, nice. Super confused. She's got no idea what the hell this is. <laughs> this is a new thing for a lot of my snakes. So we'll see. But I do know that Western Diamondbacks eat quite a varied diet in the desert regions they come from. From lizards to skinks to uh, geckos to poultry. You know, basically whatever they can find. So we'll leave that in there. Same as what we're doing with the monocle cobra, and then we'll see what they do. Uh, at this moment in time, I don't think any of them are actually going to try and eat these rabbit pinkies, which is fine because I specifically haven't fed Tinkerballs my caiman yet for just that reason. So then obviously if these guys don't eat, I will show you guys how I feed my spectacled caiman. You don't want this? Come on, figure it out. All right, well, we'll do the same as what we've done with the rest. We'll put it down there, we'll give them some time, and then we'll see how it goes. All right, so another animal we're gonna be trying offering one of these is the Cascables. Let's see if she's gonna be keen on this. She's been eating quite a varied diet from chicks to other forms of poultry to rodents. I do like to vary my animals dined up and okay. I actually think we've got a winner over there. Woo! So, thanks girl. Enjoy that then. And then just out of interest, take, I wonder if my ball python would. I am highly doubtful that he would. Although it would be interesting if he does. He seems interested. Would you believe this? Oh my goodness. I honestly did not think that a ball python would be keen on a rabbit. <laughs> How freaking interesting is that? Yeah, well, I'm pretty freaking shocked with that. All right, guys, so good news. Um, the Western Diamondbacks ate, except the one male, he seemed to not like the uh, rat pinky, ah, oh, rabbit pinky. Whoa! The Dumero boa, obviously you guys can see her eat. A very interesting thing about the Dumero boas is pound for pound, these guys are the hardest hitters out there. In other words, they are one of the most powerful snakes in existence, which is really, really, really interesting. All right, now, last but not least, the Cascables boy. Now, I was away for a bit, so the food got a bit cold, but let's see if he's keen on it. He might be. Whoa! Yeah, he was absolutely keen on it. All right, guys, so the Monocle Cobra did not want the rabbit pudding key, which was weird. The Western Nymac female wanted it. The Mobile Python ate two of them. Uh, super weird. The Cascable ate, and now we're just going to give the last one, which is this one over here. We're going um, to give this to Tinkerballs. Come, boy. Come, boy. <laughs> Come boy. Mm. Ah, you're breaking the stick. No. <sighs> I was looking too much on the camera. There you go, boy. Mm -hmm. Doop, doop, doop. Done. 
Alright guys, and that concludes it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. There was a lot going on in this video. Doing that, doing this, doing so, doing that. Any case, from all anxieties, you guys know I love you. Hit that subscribe button and then we'll see you next time.